Honey Buns Fit here. So I am going to be walking you through my day of what I eat. So we're following flexible dieting and macros. So um, basically most of my foods um, that I'm going to show you today is kind of what I do midweek. Um, and then it's just, it's a lot of what I prepare the night before that's already ready for me for the next day. So I have it with me, but if I want to change anything, I can do that. And that's the point of flexible dieting. So, um, so if I decide this meal that I brought with me, I didn't really want to eat that today, but I wanted something else that had a protein, carb, or fat. Well, I can do that. So, but then I wouldn't be, you know, either way you won't be stuck. <laughs> So that's the point of flexible dieting and macros. Flexible dieting is eating anything, eating whatever. There's no restriction. So many people restrict themselves, which causes binging, causes plateaus, the list goes on. So that's what flexible dieting is. Macros is a specific number, protein, carbs, or fats, that is customized to each person and, and, and that individual and their needs specifically. And if you, um, once you get that number figured out, you can eat whatever you want to that number as, as long as you stick within that range. So it ranges from, you know, people who want fat loss or who want to gain, make gains or people who just want to maintain but want to enjoy life and enjoy life's food. So I'm going to give you a rundown starting with meal one all the way to my last meal of the day and kind of give you um, an explanation and info on that meal, why I'm eating it, how much is in it. Um, now keep in mind that what I'm eating, what I'm going to be sharing with you today is a number that's specifically designed for me. At least it can help guide you and get, get you going in the right direction. Um, so just by me sharing you how I structure my days. Also, I'm going to be showing you how what I do as far as vlogging and kind of explaining that, explaining that to you um, with the meals. Um, and then um, most of the time, I plan everything the night before. So it makes it easy so I can just start my day and not have to think about it. But it becomes such a habit, it becomes part of your lifestyle that it, it's, it's simple. And it's only as complicated as you make it. And it's really not that complicated. <laughs> it's just having the structure and having the ideas and, and where to go from there. So but hopefully this can kind of help get you, motivate you and get you inspired to structure and make your own flexible dieting or get you at least started. So I like to use my fitness pal for all my tracking of my macros and my food. I usually like to log everything the night before I even start my next day because then everything's going to be already logged and already tracked so I already know how to prep for the next day. So if I decide I want to change anything that day um, after it's, everything's been logged, it'll be super simple just to change things out. Um, so if I didn't want this meal then I can delete that out and add something else in. So then I'm not scrambling, trying to figure out, um, gotta log everything in at the last minute. So I like to do it the night before, um, plan my meals out when I'm actually prepping my food and I'm logging at the same time. So then it's just, it's easy, you're doing it all at once, you're not trying to do multiple things throughout the day. This is by far the most accurate and best app for macros for any tracking that I've ever used. The database of foods is huge, so you're going to always find what you need. Otherwise, it's really, really simple to put in any foods or recipes that you're using. Makes it easy to stay on track. I love it. Starting with meal one, we have my protein pancakes with my strawberries and probably one of my favorite meals ever. So we're going to put it in, we're going to start with meal one. So we put in our egg whites, do half a cup and gives you the rundown of what's in it. We've got 12.5 grams of protein <laughs> and we're going to add into the one cup of oatmeal, the sugar-free cheesecake flavor, fat-free uh, jello mix and then we add in my strawberries. Four ounces we did today. So we're going to complete that in there. And there it is. The sugar-free, fat-free Jello actually makes it really moist, makes it really soft, makes it taste really, really good. So I like to incorporate that in and I blend it with water um, just in, into a batter just like you would make pancakes. This is uh, one of my most favorite meals as I said before um, and you know you can do whatever you want. Um, that's the point of flexible dieting is, is to fitting in and eating something that you enjoy and you can eat it every day if you wanted to. So this is 
by far my favorite one that I like to eat most mornings and because I'm so busy and rushing out the door it makes it quick and easy I make it the night before it's ready for me to grab in the fridge and to go I can eat it on the go which is nice like most of us we don't have time to spend on making breakfast in the morning so this is easy peasy Alright, meal number two, which I've got seven ounces of sweet potato, yam, I've got about two ounces of fresh cut corn, three ounces of chicken. This is the meal I like to eat before my workout and then again if you watch my recent video it's an hour before training because these, the, the protein and the um, <laughs> The, yeah, the protein and chicken <laughs> and the sweet potato is um, going to be slower digesting, which means slower absorption into your system. Uh, so you want to give your yourself some time for that to completely absorb into um, and get ready for you get ready to be used when needed, which would be training. So if you eat too fast before. Um, eat too soon before your training, you, you're really not going to utilize anything from your carbs and your protein until much later into your training. So that's why I like to eat an hour before. And uh, so this is my second meal, pre-workout. And this is the one I actually love the most because it's simple, it tastes good, and it's it's just the best options. Um, but you can, there's so many other options out there. So uh, you uh, just choose what works best for you. Mm. So today for my post-workout meal, I decided to have cookies. My uh, recipe I made from the other night, which is the cranberry flax cookies. So I decided I wanted this as my post-workout meal with half a scoop of whey protein. So I only did half a scoop because I only needed, you know, I only need so much protein in the day. So I measured that out to exactly what I needed. Add in my, so I create my recipes. So we got my cranberry flax cookies here. Okay, so the M&Ms, huh? <laughs> um, so I had two of the cookies. I, I had manually put all this in when I made the cookies so I knew exactly what was in a batch. So I, I had two cookies. So that gives you the rundown. And two cookies was 8.6 grams of fat. Uh, we go down to 21.8 grams of carbs and then just, I mean, 2.9 almost 3 grams of protein so you can see here that um, having this right after my workout I get a lot of um, carbs and they're fast digesting so they're going to be more opt to be used for recovery and refueling um, bringing your insulin back up from from uh, exercise so we're going to put those in Having a quick digesting carb um, a food item that's higher on the glycemic level um, and a sugar, your body's going to be more apt to use it as recovery, bringing your insulin back up that's depleted through exercise instead of storing it as fat. So many people think they can't enjoy things like this, but it's really what it is, is just wrong timing or either, either too much, not enough exercise. So you can have these things and um, make it use most to your benefit. So have a cookie after your workout, like I did. So today this was my uh, post-workout of choice. Yummy! Mm, I'm eating. Wanna watch me eat? So good. So nutritious. <laughs> so this is my fourth meal of the day, which I've already half eaten because I was starving. But it was one cup of quinoa, tomatoes, a bunch of cucumber, <laughs> and chicken. Um, I usually like to eat this meal, or I eat my fourth meal about 45 minutes to an hour after my post-workout or after my training. So I have my post-workout meal, which is the cookies and the whey protein, and now I'm having this about 45 minutes to an hour later. I usually probably eat a little bit sooner than that because I get so hungry. But yeah, so this is meal number four. Mm, and these were my choices today so far of what I wanted. So, and again, you can get so creative with uh, what you want, but I just love fresh home cooked food. So yummy, my half eaten food. All right, 
fifth meal of the day. Oops. Um, so this is seven ounces red potatoes. We've got green beans underneath there. <laughs> um, that's about a 90 grams of green beans and then I have ground uh, turkey that's um, cooked with different uh, herbs and spices and also turmeric which is really good for you joints and inflammation so this is my fifth meal I like to stick with um, my carbs around my workouts um, just because I think you utilize the carbs more um, to your benefit when they are around your training um, so it doesn't have to be right around your training but um, that's how I like it plus gives me energy so um, so fifth meal today is yummy I can't wait to eat it I'm gonna eat it now okay bye <laughs> All right, so we're on last meal of the day, which would be meal six. We got two whole eggs, hard boiled, two pieces of toast, which is the um, Alvarado Street. Hold on, let me get this. The Alvar Alvarado Street Bakery. So this one's the sprouted whole wheat bread. Um, this is one I get from Costco. So I'm halfway finished. Preparing my meal seven, six. Sorry, messing it up. Okay. So last meal of the day, we are going to put in. There is our protein bread. Put in two slices. Now we got our whole eggs. Oops. So we want two of those, two, and let's see, nope. and then we put an avocado, I did about 31 grams of avocado, so we do that. So last meal of the day is put in. Alright, the final product sprinkle of garlic and pepper on top. Does that look good? Mm. Okay, finishing today with this. Going down the hatch. <laughs> mm. This has been my favorite meal. Ending my day with this for the last like week. It's so good. I know I'll have another new obsession soon and I'll share it with you guys. <laughs> mm. So my next video is going to be on when you're out and choosing different options um, to fit into your flexible dieting for macros. So watch out for that video. <laughs> I'm going to finish eating this. Okay. Okay. Bye. Mwah. And here is the rundown of my day. So you can see why calories never matter because I'm only to 2,521 calories. Went over what it said, but I'm almost. I'm just about to my fat. Um, went way over my carbs, which I need it. So I'm not too worried about that. That's about of what I've been hitting the last few weeks. And then protein, I went over my protein, but because um, I did go over my protein a little bit, I'm not too worried about filling up my macros with my fat. So it's it's never, you never want it to, be, you don't have to stress and obsess on it being exact numbers. So in the ballpark is just fine, but I pretty much hit my macros somewhere around there. Carbs, I'm not too worried about again because I need the carbs. I think carbs really maximize more fat burn and more lean muscle gain. And plus you feel so much better better. Instead of being unenergetic, flat looking, I think carbs really fill out your muscles, give you that firm, curvy look, which is what we all want. So eat your carbs. They're really good for you. That's all there is to it. <laughs> so eat your carbs. So this is um, 
the completion of my day so you can see that we pay attention to macros not so much calories because if you're following calories and you're only trying to get like 1400 calories in, you're going to cut yourself short of everything you need so that's why you do not pay attention to calories you pay attention to macros Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you found this really informative and uh, beneficial to your own flexible dieting macro needs. Please like and share. Comment below if you have any questions. Check out my Facebook, Jen Heward, and my Instagrams, Honey Buns Fit or Jen Heward Fit. I'm looking forward to bringing you guys more stuff, food, and more food. <laughs>